applied into position for the opening draw. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Tries to get the puck to Pesci. Nice zone entry from the left. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Slavin. Quick pass to Svechnikov. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Fires it on net. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Minnesota's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Bufflin's got it along the wing. And that's blocked in traffic. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Bufflin's been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Colton's getting two for tripping. Silverberg's team has the advantage here with the power play, and it's an opportunity for him to use his zone ability and maybe even help the team light the lamp. Trotty ties up his opponent. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical. Scores! And there it is, the power play goal lights the lamp. You see players working on this all the time in practice, real tight to the net, just that quick release shot. It's gonna be on the stick and off the stick. Well, it transfers to the game tonight. The Wild have struck quickly, and there's still a relatively clean sheet of ice out there. Yeah, it's early in the first period here, and you can see that they just have that sense of urgency, James. It's almost as if they said, yeah, we know we're in your barn. We're going to come at you right away. Silverberg's got the puck. Passes out front. They score! He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Hurricanes win the faceoff and tries to make a diagonal pass to Kapanen. Sends it out in front, and that's stopped. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Silverberg. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Scores! And that's three! It's a hat trick here on the road. Well, old hat for him in a way, because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. You know, his one-timer is unbelievable when everyone knows exactly where this puck is going and they still can't defend it. I mean, it comes to him, he's set to position, and he just lets it rip and fires it past the goaltender. Minnesota's made this a one-sided affair here early in this first period. And they win that draw at center. Handles the pass. And that's poked away by Stahl. Oh, denies him with the paddle save! He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Minnesota's been the better team to this point, and the stats show it. Koivu's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And that goes off a body. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Puts it on net, and there's the save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Pesci's been working so hard with the puck and without it. It's just not dropping for him. And when it doesn't drop, it can be extremely frustrating. You want to get points. You want to feel like you're contributing. What a save by Kachetkov! And he 
slides it quickly to Slavin. Bell's lugging the puck. And he takes the feed. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. When there's contact and there's hitting in the game, James, but you can't be over aggressive. You have to slow up before you make that hit. The Hurricanes get their man advantage hit it out there for the first time tonight. Well, they're trailing, and this entire bench knows who's going out there on the power play. That's right, it's the top power play unit. Who better to invigorate this group than them? Ajo's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Works it across to Svechnikov. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Stalls gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Hurricanes take possession off the faceoff. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Sends it out in front, and that's intercepted. Carolina's got it along the wall. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Moves it over to Slavin. Tosses it on to Ajo. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The lane was blocked up, and that shot's blocked. Dubnik's been a reason why his team's in the win column. I mean, he's done everything he could between the pipes, as indicated by that save right there. Every time he's between the pipes, he gives his team an opportunity. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Tries to feed it over to Kotkaniemi. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The Wild had possession shorthanded. Nice job to escape the zone. Change up, change up. Bramlins. They score! And they create this chance, and they put it away. I can't believe the time he had to walk into that one, James. He just lets it rip. Slap shot, low stick side, beats the goalie clean. Minnesota's offense has been on fire to start this one, and still lots of time left in the first. Champions won the drive center. Rocked them in the open ice. The Hurricanes certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Well, after you give up a shorty on the power play, the next shift is critically important. Finding a way to get back and dictate pace. Coaching staff knows that they need some energy. This next shift is critical. That's denied by the goaltender. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Burns plays it now. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Oh, a clutch save! And the goaltender makes an athletic save on that one-timer. I mean, we all knew it was coming. That's right in his wheelhouse. It's a signature he just couldn't execute. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Puck feed to Heatley. With the puck inside the defensive zone. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. And a good save on the play as action continues. Anderson's got a tough job to do here. I mean, this is the tough act of a second goaltender. When you're cold and you're coming in, you have to be mentally prepared and ready for the task at hand. And he shows good composure as he gets an early puck touch there. Look out! There's someone stepping. 
it up with some physicality. I like this, James. You're almost out of the game, but you're finding a way to claw yourself back physically. And no better way to send a message than lay a huge one. Quick feed to Enron. Tries to get it over to Cullen. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Faust. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Josh has that wheel zone ability, which is his incredible speed that helps him get in the zone and score. Aho's third eye zone ability means he can distribute the puck so well. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. From one end of the blue line to the other. Hammers the shot! Oh, it stays out! He got a piece of that one! Moves it quickly over to Natchez. Oh, he makes a stick save, and that went right off the shaft of the stick. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Minnesota's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Along the half wall with the puck. Big time stop! Quick pass across to Ajo. Passes it to Svechnikov. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. Cut grab by Johns. They go on the attack from the left side. Huge steal in his own end. And surfs up a little knock on the play. Big hit. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. With the backhand! Oh, he caught all of that. What a save by Dubnik. The goaltender is very aware of where... Here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Well, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. They're way behind in this one, and the only way to get back into it is to start to show some emotion. And that physicality right there, that fight, looking to ignite a fire with the team. Both teams had a chance for a little reset as they step in for the faceoff. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Here he is, on a break away! Scores! And the pylon continues, and these home fans, I think, have had about enough. Yeah, they have had enough, and they paid money, and they're leaving the building. Why? Because they are frustrated with their team. Just a lack of effort today, and just getting blown out of the water. Well, this is a great goal. The goal scorer's goal, actually, James. A quick release shot. You keep it
Minnesota's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they put a lot of pucks on net so far. And Ross got it in the defensive zone. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Oh, and the buzzer, a big save. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Great start for one side, a disaster for the other. What does period number two offer? Let's find out as we're underway here. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Carolina's getting blown out in this one, James, but they got to find some kind of light. There's still 40 minutes left to play here. A lot of game, a lot of runway, but if you can't look too far down the road, it's going to be shifts, staying present, and making sure that you're first on the puck. Someone's got to ignite the fire, but it needs to start now. Rips it off target. Moves it to champion. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Put it to the slot. Home point stopped by Anderson. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Carolina's on the attack. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Minnesota's got possession at center. Right on the doorstep. Fantastic save. Anderson's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. His save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going more. Great stop by Dubnik. Here's a short pass to Cullen. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Levels him with the hit. Takes a shot. Denies him. He got all of it. From off the wall and onto a stick. On the attack along the boards. Oh, fantastic stop there. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Picked up along the boards by Burns. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Fires it. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Burns moves the puck. Pushes it across to Parisi. Moves the puck along the half wall. Great reach with the poke check by Stahl. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Stalls won the draw here, and they're going the attack. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Anderson. Penalty coming up here. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Takes it to the front. Comes up with the stop. Pinned up along the boards. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Stalls ready for the draw on this man advantage. Good job handling up his opponent here. 
reaches out and uses the stick. Quick pass to Stahl. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. The Wild have taken possession of their own end. Oh, my, you could feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. Carolina's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. And he takes the dish. Here's a pass in front. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. Silverberg's working it around in the corner. Gets in the lane with the puck. Across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Great stop by Dubnik. Strong use of the body. Fires it into the offensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Oh, he got all of that against the boards. And they score. Sometimes when you're in your own zone, you can get caught wandering or roaming, James. What I mean by that, your eyes start to focus on the puck and you start to slide. Minnesota's in cruise control here late in period number two as they lead by a wide margin. Carolina's got it in the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Faust. Takes the feed from his own end. 
That stretch pass was a beauty, James. Here's a shot! Oh, Turned oh, aside oh. with a glove by Dubnik. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Michael's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And that's picked off by Niskanen. Quick feed to Michael. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. Carolina's won the defensive zone draw. And he hangs on to the puck. There's a collision. Slides it diagonally to Champion. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Moves it to the middle. Block shot. Slick feed. Well, there you go, two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Hope you're having a great night, two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Game is not over yet. Let's see if they can try to rally back here in the third, but they've got a long way to go. They've got an on-man rush. Out in front, and it's blocked. What a sacrifice there. And it's a quick pass to Michael. Minnesota's got the puck at the defensive end. He moves it quickly over to Enroth. A chance in front, and it's blocked. Denies him in close. And sends it just out of reach. Oh, and a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's going to continue to be a target if his head is down. Just wide. Redirected shot. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Put it on the post. The Hurricanes are trying to get themselves back in the game, but you can't do that when you keep wiring it off the post. There's only one goal away, James, of his next milestone right here. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Granlund's won the draw there on the attack. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Here's a chance on the attack. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Anderson. Minnesota's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. The Hurricanes win the draw on their own end. Jarvis plays it into the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Well, you can't make the save if you don't know where the puck is going to be, James. Well, he has a perfect read on this play. Reads that pass right across the crease and makes the save. Good hit on the play. A chance from the slot. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Goes right to the crease. Scores. Well, they've got a mountain to climb, but at least started the escalation. Well, yeah, they're not at the base of the mountain anymore, but I'll tell you, they're looking up, and it's a long way to go. They're going to have to dig in, put their work boots on if they want to claw their way back into this one, James. The Hurricanes are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Puck picked up in the open ice. 
And he gives it over to Kotkaniemi. Change up, change up. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. The Wild have it in their own zone. And that's knocked away. And now it's grabbed by Gostasberg. Possession in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Orlov. Picking up momentum through center. Takes it to the net. Oh, it goes right up the post. I saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team. But he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. And Sarah, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still. Applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net. And they're really showing them the love. Minnesota's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Moves it to Parisi. Puck scooped up by Pesci. There's an injection of energy with that hit. And the challenge is accepted. Take down and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's gonna be the victor in this one. With this game completely out of hand right now, this is a predictable fight. Late in the game, it's a blowout. This is frustration bubbling over. Fair to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have cooled their jets. And here's the upcoming faceoff. Stalls moving the puck to his own zone. And that's off a stick. Burns moves it into the attacking end. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Back to the blue line. And Russ tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular. Puts it on the inside of the iron. And they're getting opportunities and they're really firing it towards the net. I really like their game tonight. based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Quick shot. Stop it. Scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and 
Kevin tries to clear the puck and he fires it past the tender. Minnesota's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Oh, that sounded like a hard crash against the wall. Oh, he hammered on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve box. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. The Hurricanes have it now. Here's a short pass to Granlin. And he takes the pass. Svechnikov's body language says it all. He is so frustrated. He knows he's a sniper, and he usually finds the back of the net. He just can't buy one tonight, and his team's losing badly. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Granlin's won it off the faceoff. From one point man to another. Minnesota's, here we go, two on one. Paints it over, shoots. Oh my goodness, what a save here. Dumba stick handling in his own zone. Gains the zone along the right wall. And that goes off a player in front. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Broken up at center by Aho. And now he tries to get it across to Svechnikov. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Minnesota's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals. The Hurricanes win it. Pass to Pesci. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. They put the puck into the offensive end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Quick pass over to Niskanen with authority. Minnesota's got it now. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Dumps it in. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Handles the pass from the right side. And a little body contact on that play. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And now he moves it quickly to Kapanen. What a hit on the play! Oh, my! Now, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags him, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. And that shot dies in traffic. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, what a save on the play! Whoa! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Johns came to play, and even though he hasn't recorded a point, guys, I still think he's been engaged in this game. I'm giving him my vote here. Answered the call there. Carolina's got the puck. Quick feed to Carrier. Takes the feed. Quick shot! Stopped by Dubnik. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Well, a tough night getting even tougher in these final seconds as the fans letting them know this was unacceptable. Stahl's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. And the losing continues, and 